back everybody map number two vault up one zero on to mostly harmless's choice i'm laser jesus joined by kakona himself ocean and uh you think uh, as well as i do that this is probably mostly harmless's best chance out of the three maps yeah it's definitely it's i definitely think it's one of their stronger maps i've played a few of them on it and they've been decent so one can only hope they take this if we want to see a third, again, that'll be Inferno, if you don't know. And I predicted, I suppose I should get into this round, as the A bomb site has been taken. Mostly Harmless are going to try to retake three people from CT, one man coming up from Highway, and one man flanking. So they have good position for this retake, but it comes down to getting the entries in. Do more. Is he going to try to be the 10 second ninja? Realizes that's a mistake as he gets bloodied up. Lauren still with a chance. Effie's quite low, but yeah, it doesn't have a chance anymore. And the retake looked okay for Mostly Harmless. I mean, they had good numbers coming up from Highway as well as as uh, CT, but that's the risky run if you go uh, full retake. Did they have a kit there with that smoke? Do you know? I didn't. I didn't catch it. I don't know. It was a, it was a good smoke, and I thought they had potential for a for a diffuse, but then I seen ten oh, seconds. Oh no, he didn't then... have one. Yeah, I know Dumor didn't have one. I wasn't sure if he threw the smoke. I just assumed the dude that threw his smoke had a had a uh, a kit. Uh, but when I seen a 10 second defuse there, that's a tough one. Yeah, almost relying on your opponents, just not believing that you're there. I mean, 10 seconds to shoot through the smoke with uh, limited players working around you, taking absorbing some of the attention of the T's. Yeah, I don't think so. So already. A 1-0 start for the team up 1-0 in the map score. Not a good look for Mostly Harmless. And Volt, this is uh, not their map choice, so they picked the T side to start. Some teams like doing this nowadays, but wow, Mostly Harmless in response. They pick up three. Glorins has found the yump, but quickly neutralized. Is just one player in the B-bomb site. Fight going on at mid, too. Effie's and Dumar have been going at it for quite some time, and Volt, they're actually going to fall back towards A. They know one's at B. Might as well go towards A, where you know one player is there guaranteed uh, at, at most. I suppose they'd have the same results at B, given that uh, the Dumar showed himself at mid as well. Right, in come Volt. Smoke for Highway. Dumar going to lurk in it. Comes down to timing here. Vault may get a false sense of security that yeah, the smoke is up. Smoke, yeah. Ooh, on the flank. Oh, Effie spots out Dumore. Very fortunate. But that play by Dumore, the, the smoke, it, it gives you an illusion of security. But who knows? Maybe somebody's going to run through it. Dumore's crazy enough. Yeah, no, I think it was a, it was a good play by Dumore. It was just he might have needed to pull the trigger a bit sooner. But he kind of stuck behind uh, quad box. So when you get a D, you want to kind of line it up a bit. So kind of bad timing. on, Just unlucky, really. Yeah, so that's CS timing. But mostly harmless. So can a couple of their players down to 16. And on a map like Cash, where you really want a lot of utility for retake scenarios, namely incendiaries, this is a really uh, in, in heavy investment into the economy. And I think it'll be a problem for mostly harmless. If it gets to one of those retake scenarios. But a five man mid stack for mostly harmless. There's something you don't see every day on the Ecos. Usually four or three, one, three, one, something like that. The vault, clean work. And they didn't invest a lot into this round. Uh, do you think they're going to go the economic round to save these weapons, go for an execute? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt, I wouldn't doubt it. I think maybe a few of them upgrade, but I mean, they're sitting on two pistols right now, so. I think they will. I don't think it's a bad play. Especially yeah. knowing, especially when the CT's bought, you know they're not going to have head armor. Makes Max sense to me. MP7, I mean, if you get good smokes up into that A-bomb site, then it can be quite problematic for the CT side. And look at that money. I mean, 4k on two players coming into the first gun round, that's just, that's just too low for my taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely one thing... I know a lot of people kind of been saving a bit on the cash CT just because you need those mollies. If you want to do like a one three one here, like they have no mollies, so yeah, I definitely I'd almost prefer to save now. Just depends on your economy though. If you can get a couple scouts and if you get a few pistol run kills, but 
Yeah, it, seems, it seems like one part of the meta that's not clearly defined on how much teams will invest and in, cut into that CT buy. And mostly harmless. They've held off mid entirely. Both players of Vault trying to take into mid have been shut down. Then Rob Wiz over towards the B side puts away Effies. So Vault with uh, the first gun round. They try to take mid control with a lot of the SMGs. And I would have preferred just a strong A play. But who knows? Maybe they could have got the entries. I don't know. Yeah, they're just they're talking in team comms right now. I think they're someone didn't go on the boost or a little mistiming there on their part. Someone didn't follow the plan. I'm sure you know as a strat caller, everybody comes up with their own ideas randomly. Yeah. And then of course you get the the obligatory oh I told you so if it ends up working out. If the the frustrations of a caller. Fortunately, I never had to do any of that, but maybe Volt can hang on. Jay Cruel does still have the op. He needs to hit every one of these op shots, and he's going to whip two of them. Yeah. A tennis racket or something. I don't know how he missed both of those. Not a very big angle. They're peeking the right side of quad, but... You could almost got those, those two kills there, too. Good round of mine. Mostly harmless here for live. T's got great money though from the DSMG save or force or what you like to call it. Yeah, whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> there's lack of terminology. Mixed by, yeah. Uh... But it's it's so interesting because this is something that would never happened in in 1.6 in Source where it, it was just defined. You you bought the way everybody did. There there was reasons for it. You didn't invest too much unless it was into deagles. There wasn't like a wide variety of pistols. And there was points where you saved or or you forced, and everybody seemed to follow the same trend. But now in Go, we get... Yeah, just get... Yeah. <laughs> That's the way she goes, I guess. A good time when spectating, but while playing, a little hectic sometimes. Alright, Vault. Slow stuff here. They don't got the op out. Once more, I mean, I, I guess a uh, good reason, J. Cruel. Puts it away after that uh, not so great showing in the round previous. The vault shifting over to what looks to be a full A setup. This is what I would have liked them to do in the round uh, last to this one. Or going up for the boost. There's a couple ways you could do this. You either go full hard into A with a couple players A main, a couple players squeaky. Or you can have the, the mid guy engage off of this. Go first, try to pull the highway guy over via the mid boost. Or have him engage late and uh, try to flank onto the player at highway. And I think yeah, they're so going onto the flank roll. So here they come. Good flash on the do more, but Effie's not looking. Larkmar will peek out second, but Effie's makes his way around the bomb site and kills do more. Excellent play by Vault. I was worried since Effies didn't peek the player at MBK right away, but the flash was so good on to do more that he was just full white for the first couple players streaming out, and suddenly, mostly harmless looking at a save, and the amount that they had to reinvest into utility, I still think they'll go for the buy in this next round, but they're going to be strapped for cash, and they need both of these weapons. Oh man, they're going to lose one. Yeah, that's not looking good there. What's uh, are they gonna force? Mm. It's Looks still like early. it, yeah. No, I think they are gonna force, yeah. Raw off on not a, yeah, Ian. not a bad play, but I want to see them get aggressive here with some of their, their guns, maybe three push B, you know, an A main strat, just something to get this off, you know, some presence, even just the rifles since they're sitting on two pistols. It's going towards B. They'll find Nerdy here with the flash is good for Nerdy and Ian doesn't even see Nerdy. Ooh, good reactions with the op, but at middle it's all Vault. They just storm over the top and maybe the uh, the adjustments they were talking about with who's supposed to be getting boosted. And do more with the Deeg. If he can get J. Cruel and take his weapon, oh no, the spray begins. Larkar looking to trade, oh. denied by Do More, but traded off by Effies. Dude, now. This is a call. Are they gonna, is he gonna say that he's lit? Because one of his players should know. Oh, huge whiff. Does does do they know? Yeah, that's Ian's what I'm still thinking. I don't, think I don't think he's reeling it to his teammates. Very fortunate. 
hits the hardest shot out of the three. <laughs> That's the way it goes with the op, man. Yeah. If I'm shooting somebody in the back, clean whiff. Yeah, if somebody's you need to jumping up, up headshot. Doesn't make sense. And Sometimes then I see cold at the major hit a yeah. jumping triple kill. This game, man. Sometimes you need to set yourself up for the hard shot for oppers, like just that flick or something that you can know you can land on. Sometimes when you're just too stagnant with it, you just whiff with it. Yeah. It's just tough. It seems like the longer you're holding an angle too, the, the more the more, uh, problematic it gets. But the, we called for the aggression from Mostly Harmless, and this time it doesn't go their way, and it couldn't come at a worse time. It's a hard reset from this situation. It's really reminiscent of Train, and they're going to put themselves in the same spot where they're forced to come back on the CT side just to move on to the, the slightly harder side. And it's, it's just looking way too reminiscent, and I'm worried for Mostly Harmless. Yeah, I think if they had one more player at B, like a triple push instead of a double, because they had them blind. They did significant damage with 18 health and 1 HP, so... I think if they just had one more guy to kind of like battle with them, it could have changed if they were all sitting beside each other. Terrace. And what did Vault have out there? Like three or four players? Yeah, something Vault like had that? four players. Yeah, they were all beside each other. They just like couldn't really land on this guy. Yeah, that P90 needs to get super fortunate if you're going to come out on top of four players holding the push or your flashes have to be good. I think there was a smoke up in that situation too that uh, changed things a little bit. But a hard reset now. Uh, do more. I think if he grabs maybe maybe two kills, we might see the force buy come out from Mostly Harmless. Who knows? They might do it anyways because they there was a round on train where they were able to get two AKs out or an M4 and then an AK and then three of the players had pistols uh, on a similar spot where the uh, vault wouldn't have to save upon losing. This is kind of what it's shaping up to be. One uh, One less rifle though. So I guess I'm just saying it wouldn't surprise me if Mostly Harmless go for the forest based upon what I've seen on train. Yeah, with the AK, if Dumar can save it here, might be a possibility. It's so risky, though. Yeah. I think with Cash being as T-sided as it is nowadays and needing utility, I think, it's sweet. I think going for the double might just be the smarter play just so you can shut down any mid-aggression or anything they throw your way with utility. See the decision. I mean, I expect. Oh, yeah, they're gonna do yeah. it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're just super ballsy. I don't think I mean, it has a if you're a pug... for them. I think once did it pay off for them once on train. Uh... I think that they did it at least three times, I believe. I think it was a round where they didn't even in, like it wasn't a full was just, full force either. Yeah, it was just like a P250 kind of buy. Yeah. They're gonna go for it though, and I, I guess it has its merits. I mean, you're a pug. Do you really want to go down that much? You can try to decide the match right here and now. It has super big payoff, super super high risk. Is the next gun round that'll come around? Mostly harmless. Aren't gonna have those incendiaries, namely to you know shut down the the, the early mid aggression. The retake potential gets hindered quite a bit. Involved just gonna open up onto the A bomb site. Everybody just busting out at the same time. Effies. Looks like his uh, job on that sort of take is to run around uh, into the bomb set as well, non-MBK side, and mostly harmless is getting treated here. Not a single kill, and of course, that just cuts into the next gun round, and Vault will have an easier time. I think uh, they're looking defeated. It's a risky one there. <laughs> yeah, it's... Only, they're not even going to be able to off next round either. It's, it's so risky, and... I mean, I thought they'd do it, or they, there's a high probability of it because they went for it on train, but it's 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 similar to train where it, it, it's so vital to have a, a whole bunch of utility and train, I think you need the op out more, whereas on, on cash CC side, I just think you need the incendiaries more. Yeah, I'm always count for a lot. Just on the short maps, like Inferno and, and cash, they're super overpowered. Same thing with like nuke before, if you remember, just like Molly Squeaky, Molly Hot. Yeah. And it's if you get those players down Molly's fast enough, just some of those maps just cut it off totally. Yeah, I don't miss that map, but I'm not playing anymore, and it's gonna be really fun watching everybody figure out the new nuke, which has been yeah, decided. It's... I see just I see a lot of bands incoming. Yeah, it will be super neat for teams that already just ban Inferno because it's like they don't even have to learn it. 
but I, I think it'll be super fun to, I mean, how much have you got to play of it? Like, not that much. It's like matchmaking with friends, really. Yeah, I, I like, don't know I how it's gonna I go. I haven't scrimmed or anything on that map. It's gonna be fun to watch. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like in Source, it, it was so, like, based upon, uh, like, skylight flashes, and just, if you didn't have a, a strong upper take, well, then you just, just got rolled on the T side, like, you had to have that threat, but now it's just so much more getting opened up and everything. I don't know how it's gonna go. Yeah, I don't think anybody does just rolling with it. I like how it just gets decided. It's like, nope, we're playing it, uh, if you guys don't want to, well, don't come. Mostly harmless. This is what I was worried about. They don't have the greatest utility in any incendiaries or nades. And Vault, with just applying a little bit of pressure, just announcing their presence outside of B, they've already drawn out a significant portion of what uh, limited utility Mostly Harmless had uh, brought into the round. As the last smoke gets deployed, looks like Vault are just going to execute in the smoke doesn't matter at all as the flashes are great. Lawrence, he's only good for one as Effie just has to turn around as he's entering into the bomb site. And the trade's just too good for Vault. And that, that coordination on the take, just so crisp. And we'll just do more. And his teammate Ian and man, I, they, ha they have to save. They, it's just, there's no right decision here for Mostly Harmless. I mean, do you want to keep that economy low because it's getting out of control? Do you want to just save for the next round where you're probably not going to force buy? I mean, you can go either way, but I, I, I don't mind them going for exits. Yeah, if I was Ian, I'd be running away a lot sooner and just trying to hide. Oh, yeah, he's the, the op. No armor here. It's, I don't know. It's, she's a rough one. Effie just jumps out, Jay Cruel, and that's the end of it. Yeah, I guess yeah, I, I didn't right notice Ian had the op. I guess he needs to run yeah, a lot he, sooner. Yeah, he uh, just he glass cannon. Yeah. And he had, like, he, just it, enough money. Just including an op into this round, just an op change, it gives you such a bigger chance on these sort of rounds. Gonna go down, though. We'll see Harmless have to go for the save once more. Vault going to grow that economy some more. Three players already hovering above 10k. It's hard to make a case for Mostly Harmless. I mean, at this point. <sighs> yeah, this, this is going to be their next comeback here. Maybe some double offs of the 1-3-1 one, one or something. Because what's been going right for Mostly Harmless? I mean, the aggression has been shut down towards B. Vault seems to have their way with him at mid recently once they figured out that boost position. Vault's been able to draw out the nades with Mostly Harmless. And over towards the A side, the coordination just seems too strong. So, I mean, where do you go if, if you're Mostly Harmless? Yeah, they're getting shut down in all aspects here. You need to pony up and hit some shots here coming up in this next round. I think that's just what it boils down to, but I guess I can't really say that with confidence because on, on the previous gun round, we saw Vault just have great timing when the smokes were dissipating towards that B bomb site, and Mostly Harmless had a bunch of players towards B. It's just the flashes were so good, and the timing was so good from Vault. So even if, uh, I mean, Mostly Harmless might not get a chance to hit said shots. The Vault looking to finish this one off. Another one, Jay Crew follows it up. It's highway and both truck fall. And another round where the economy just grows from Vault. They could buy out the rest of the half now. Florens. He's shown promise in the league, and I've seen him do some crazy stuff. And it doesn't seem like it's going to happen this time. 29 HP, Effie's, there's the frag. 16k now reached. Effie's having a bunch of fun this game at 16 and 3. And that money's just too out of control. Nothing's been going right for Mostly Harmless. It's looking worse on their map choice than it has on train. They, they, they need every round from this point on this half. Just, just to have a chance in the next, I believe. Yeah, there's the double ops coming out there. So you just try to hold deep standard? 2-1-2? Two, I think just putting the ops at the end of the map here, they have three towards A, they're probably gonna do a pop, pop flash towards A main. So, Vault has a bunch of players setting up for A, the flash comes through, Vault yeah, has to trade, just too many players there. 
And I, we're going to see Vault execute onto this A bomb site. If Mostly Harmless can't hold it with three versus four, I mean, they're just never going to hold it. Yeah, I'm just wondering why the Opera didn't flash the two rifles into A main rather than the opposite quad and do more flash for the single rifle. Yeah, that's I true. Would like, I would like to kind of see the two rifles getting those entries because Cube did kill one and they were blind, so I think with another another rifle support there, I think he could uh, maybe mop them all up. It doesn't seem like Vault have realized that it's a, it's a stack on this A-bomb site. They're just going to continue to march in one by one. Lauren's probably just going to continue peeking. Guy's pretty crazy. And he'll fall back over towards B, so this does give Vault uh, a better chance. Do more at forklift. He'll be the first hurdle for Vault. And then Rob Wiz at quad will peek out. Rob Wiz should be good for at least one kill here unless Jake will somehow post it up on it. And yeah, there's the first. Do more. Let's rock our jump up into the site. Wait a minute. 20 seconds left. Rob Wiz, he's not going to hit the first one. Rotates a little far away, but Rob Wiz doing an excellent job staying alive. And then he'll get the kill. So that's three for Mostly Harmless. Yeah, they uh, got the double up too. Yeah, saving a bunch. This is where I'm, you're going to see probably just a 5 AK smoke execute at A. I think they know they're double offing. And J. Krubel Ford did an op when he whiffed those two shots at uh, Quad, and that's what they went into right away. So I see the five rifles. I'm just guessing that's what they're going to go into. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's, they're going right into it. Uh... It's just Nerdy at the B side, just making a little yeah, bit of was, noise. Nerdy was boosted last time, so he's just making a bit of, a bit of pressure over at B to keep that rotate. Oh, it looks like they're boosting mid though. Okay, so heavy fake. Yeah. Ian, he's inside of the checkers, and wow, yeah, it's it was so a good successful. Yeah. It, I think a lot of that's because mostly harmless. I mean, you you gotta be worried about A. Once those smoke goes yeah. down, your team hadn't held it before. What are the chances they hold it now? You gotta rotate. Yeah, you know, you're definitely. Yeah. Oh, let's see uh, the retake from mostly harmless. I mean, three on four. I think they go for it here. You can't afford a hard reset. I suppose you can get almost full rifles into the next round, but I think they got to go for it. They might just try to peck at Vault and see if they can get a kill before deciding on full commitment. We'll see. Big okay, cool, a bunch of damage, but now I think with Rob was going down, they'll go for the save. Cube, never mind. It's time to be a hero. Nope. Yeah, it was It was pretty obvious they were going to do that AX execute, in my opinion, but it was good. They faked it, and they totally... They totally... Uh, Drew the rotate and everything, so. It's like Lauren's a little, a little heated. Maybe he called for the team not to rotate, like he had a read on the situation or something. I don't know. But it makes a lot of sense why that player would rotate over. Because you want to put yourself in that situation at A as soon as possible. Because your teammates today have already been struggling there. So it just it just gives more incentive uh, to rotate over. And then all the more incentive for uh, Vault to throw the fake. So excellent. And I, I think either way... If they go for the strong A take, it probably mm -hmm. works too. Yeah, no, I, I agree with the double offs. It's going to be hard to shut down. And they get what buy they can out of it. Ian actually affords an op again. And it's, it's just, I think it's just too easy for Vault at this point. I mean, the, the A take has just been so successful. The ability to fake off of it, how much. I mean, focus mostly harmless have to put there. Even if mostly harmless have numbers there. Uh, they should be able to run through. We'll see it put to the test. There's three players, at least in the area. Rob Wiz creeping up into mid, as well as Glorin's in sunshine already. So, mostly harmless should have a very clear idea of what exactly is going down. Uh, the take as Rob Wiz arrives on the flank. Maybe a hold here from mostly harmless. They do got the crossfire going on, but then Jade Cruel and Effie's pushing to the bomb site. It has, it is known that the flank is occurring, but the traits are still there. Do more eventually works his way around the smoke, spams away with the promise. <laughs> you can't do that. That got yeah. his ass. Shay Cruel. Does he know that Glorens is on the flank? It doesn't look like it, but he's shrouded in the smoke, and Glorens doesn't know that Jay Cruel has worked his way into the CT spawn area on the white box. Oh, oh that sucks. It's a heartbreaker for there, yeah. 4K for Jay Cruel. Is that a take? 
Even the bomb was stop down. It. Yeah, the bomb was even down in kind of a unique play by J. Crow there. Just kind of pushing through the smoke to spawn, even though your bomb's down, but paid off for him. So we'll see if uh, I can get the last round in of Vault. They're feeling confident. Rams says, I need more bullets. It's gonna rock out with them again. And when you see that gun come out, it's generally a lack of respect. Uh, or just uh, some player believing they're too far ahead, there's no way we can lose. I'm gonna use the funny gun. I suppose teams will bust it out if they're if they have think they have no chance of winning as well. But there it is. Excellent weapon to spam through the smoke. It's a 2k within a gev. Nicely done, Gramps. But 12-3 for Vault and you can call it an insurmountable comeback, but it is T side cash and things can get streaky. But I think Vault just to just work too well as a team. Yeah, they're showing it there on that Terra side, just picking them apart, getting early picks, shutting down their aggression, throwing fakes on them. They're really just toying with them the whole time. Yeah, just it, and it's their map choice too. Let's see what was banned and everything. Vault bans overpass, harmless bans dust, or homeless bans dust too. And that's an interesting ban. Yeah, I was just gonna say that is an interesting ban. Yeah, as a pug, there has to be like two players with serious hatred. Yeah, it's definitely a map you want to leave in, being like a new team. It's just I really don't just quite comes understand out to a lot it. of aim battles. Everyone knows kind of the plays and executes on dust too, so. Really just comes into a lot of aim duels. It's one it's one of the maps where if, if you're a pug, you can have a chance versus a team that has been together for a long time. It's that, that advantage just kinda goes away, whereas I'd say on train and uh, Inferno, which is coming up if we need it, the teamwork is definitely mandatory. But what's this? Mostly homeless. Have I been calling them harmless this whole time? Either uh, way. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> they were mostly harmless. I just noticed that actually too. Oh well, it's too late. I'm gonna just continue with it. But both <laughs> arrive on the flank. Rob was last guy up, mostly homeless. Find the bomb site vacant, but then they just get flanked by Vault, and that's just the end. Yeah, that's a pistol you really need to win here. So probably gonna see a force out of the mostly harmless here. It just hoping like a like... tech nine, just a quick strat with this smoke and a flash. Just try to get in vault grills and don't be sitting back too much. That's one thing I've noticed that mostly homeless just if they show a little bit more aggression like vault has. Vault's like multiple times just full rush bomb sites without knowing any info. Yeah, if I'm looking at the mostly homeless roster too, say you know, I'm vault coming into this, I I would think that. With the pickup of Dumor and Glorins, both players that you know I, I've struggled to, to hold positions against, like with the, the entry fragment prowess, we haven't seen much of that style from them uh, on the two sided train. This time they do just bust out mid and uh, trade off quite well. But then kind of split up. They do try to go into the B bomb site, and that sucks because they just get shut down at the checkers. Dumor has flanked around into the CT area, but it seems like Vault have a decent idea that he's posted up here. Yeah. Had the read there. Good bust out mid though, but then it fell apart. It was a good, good starting. I don't know. They just kind of fell apart there. Just ran into a little bit of a stack of CT with a forward position at B. Oh, a two left for Vault. It almost looks like a gimme at this point. There's no way. Mostly harmless can have the comeback of the century. Who knows? I've seen crazier. I just don't see it happening this time. As Ian will go one for one out mid, has a teammate at his at his back or at his front that's Dumor, who's collected that UMP. But on the B side, Grant has pushed through. On the A side, Effies has pushed through. Nice little pinch going on. And mostly harmless are just stuck. <laughs> they do push Ian back over. Nice little reaction to the situation, but of course it's not enough. And likely the round to end it. As a very dominant performance from Vault. Yeah, I, they might even just keep their SMGs. No, they upgraded the one SMG. Not total respect, like the Negev, but 
And he's going with the, the auto. And now it's, if they go for the rush like we were talking about, this could, this could be really bad for them. They just yeah, run no, straight it's... into the auto. We'll spread out though. Lauren's getting pretty aggressive. Ooh, Jake Rule. It's gonna win the duel though. I think I called him that Jake Rule again or whatever it was before. Jerule. Jerule. <laughs> Delicious. I'm not sure what accent that is. 4-4. Uh, four, four, mostly harmless. Ian's tagged up. They haven't taken too much map control. It's not like they've pushed Vault off of checkers. It's not like they've cleared a main. It's not like they have a guy opening up squeaky. I mean, it's just looking pretty pretty ugly for Mostly Harmless, if I'm honest. There is a frag, though. more will get boosted up over mid. Catches after he's getting really aggressive. And Vault's just, they're just getting, peeking everything. Taking all the fights. Mostly Harmless. They have gone even so far. But I don't even know if that favors them. Usually I'd have it favoring the two side of the vault. Has been looking good on their trading ability. Raw car should get one freebie. Ian's really lit. Rob with the trade. And now, how this will you retake, retake with the yeah. auto? <laughs> I don't know how he does this. How do you not get traded with the auto? You need mistakes for mostly homeless. Or a nice nade right here. Oh, the Loop. header. That sucks for Ian. J. Cruel, how can he steal this one? Oh, does make it to the headshot. Bomb isn't planted for him, though. Never... Oh, Rob was doesn't even wait for the defuse. Good timing on that, too. That's well played. I mean, what, what, what can we say? What can you retake with that? I mean, that's... I'm glad yeah, you got punished for it. Tough one. Oh, 11? Or how many in a row would it be? 12 in a row for mostly homeless. And the more and more they, they score, the more and more I think Vault will take this seriously and, and, uh, and tighten up. As, look, they're, they're, they're just trying to end it now. There's no reason for this, really, to go for the force other than we think we could do it with, uh, with less equipment. That was a good opening pick by Nerdy there. That's something I would have seen like, Nitro try to do. He's kind of sitting stagnant with the op a bit. It's good to see those oppers trying to get those first kills. Just pull back, play a 4v5, make the team execute. Yeah, because if you run into a single AK, just trying to get that opening yeah, map just holding control, the default, yeah. Yeah, you come out on top quite often. They just continue to push, though. Or I think that was J. Cruel under the boost. Excuse me, as Ian will push out and go one for one. And again, this is... If Mostly Homeless is going to come all the way back in this... This is one of the easier uh, rounds they're going to have to go against just with the economy that Vault had had. This Rar car will take the advantage over towards the Vault side. Mostly Homeless trying to split onto the A-bomb site, but there's three people here for Vault. Matching numbers, never a good thing. Nerdy with one more. Gramps finds good timing onto Q to peek out towards the highway. And suddenly it's just do more. Can he keep a minute? No, good nade from Rar car, and that's going to be 16 to 4. Or Vault moving on against Mostly Homeless, and that's a nice little 2-0 victory, and to be expected, given that uh, they're still in Premier Playoffs, whereas Vault, or whereas Mostly Homeless, uh, just revamping their roster. Yeah, no, it was, you could see that they were in a lot of favorable situations there. The teamwork there and experience together is really showing off. That's good to see them. Making a nice little run. They actually beat uh, Echo Fox uh, just recently in the ESCA playoffs. I believe that was a forfeit. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Echo Fox being in uh, ECS, I believe. Is that what it's called? I think it's ECS and uh, the E League. They just didn't want to commit to a, a third league, so they dropped out of that. And they forfeited their way to land. Damn, Counter Strike's blowing up if you. If you dog ESCA. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's just there's so many tournaments. I mean, before we were in Sevo, we were in Face we're in ESEA. We're playing, like, you're playing every night. You don't get to practice, and especially, like, some of these top teams having to travel so much and play in that many leagues, right? It's, uh, it's a tall task. Um, that is, of course, Ocean Odig, also known as Kikona, man, is, man of many nicknames. Thanks for joining me as always. Thanks for having me.
And I'd like to direct everybody's attention over towards SkinSanity.gg. SkinSanity, a beloved new sponsor of ours who have uh, come up with an interesting bidding system. And a new take on how you can bid for, for different skins. And it, it's pretty cool. I, I forget which... Uh, which so somebody in, does this in a different way in, in, uh, for bids. I think quip, quip bids or something. It, it, it's, it's similar to that. I, I'm probably butchering the other name, but skinsanity.gg. You can get your coins in. I believe it is uh, GG points or coins, <laughs> one or the other. And with your certain amount of GG, you can then use to bet on these weapons. And there's a, there's a certain allotted amount of time that the the skins will be up for and then you have to watch out if people are trying to outbid you there's different bid costs associated with the with the gg points depending on the skin so let's just run down what's going on right now we see a hyper beast up for 14 or no somebody had already won that auction is over let's go to something live and it looks like a hyper beast was just put up i mean maybe you catch people sleeping i haven't i haven't necessarily tried my luck just yet but you know what i might be a night owl stay up till like five in the morning Maybe uh, catch everybody sleeping on the North American side. There's probably there's probably some math to that <laughs> as well. But your goal, obviously, to be the the last better uh, bidder when the auction ends. If you win, you pay the final price of the item, which is usually significantly off the the market price. Usually like ninety percent or so. So that's just crazy math for you. And then the site will send you a trade offer. And also, just always be careful because people are trying to outbid you. That's the point of the site you can save a bunch of money as long as you can get that right deal hopefully you don't find a nemesis who's just constantly trying to outbid you i've had some uh, e ebay wars myself but right. you can also get 100 free gg to test out the site by adding skinsanity.gg to your steam uh, display name and logging back into the site so there's a chance you can even make out like a bandit with uh with the six skin if uh you find uh, some good timing with your with your hundred free gg what else they got going on here i'm getting i'm getting a little curious now so it looks like there's a bunch of uh bunch of ones that had just started so i mean you can get yourself some sick deals again here also if you're feeling extremely lucky you can try out the rock, paper, scissors function and see if you can rob somebody of their GG and uh, limit their ability to bid. So again, proud new sponsor, skinsanity.gg. Uh, skin as I bumble all over that, get yourself some good deals and hopefully nobody is bidding against you. And that'll be it for us tonight here at RGN. Vault moving on over mostly homeless, decent showing by them, but just not good enough against the, the season team who's been together for far too much time. Never, never long enough. Good night, everybody. I need you more